Springstar is a company based out of Woodenville, Washington, just outside of Seattle. Here, we research, develop, and produce all sorts of bug traps. From fleas and fruit flies to yellow jackets and moths, we create all sorts of pest management systems. Lately, we've been focusing on developing our Autocidal Gravid Ovitrap, or AGO Mosquito Trap. The CDC came up with the idea for this trap a few years back, and we've utilized SBIR funding from the NIH to develop the CDC's handcrafted prototype into a product that can be produced at an industrial scale. The new AGO trap will be tested in field trials this summer. We've been working tirelessly to get this unit out the door, which wouldn't have been possible without our grant from the NIH. For the last few months, our scientists have been plugging away on different attractants and glue samples to find the best combination that will attract and catch ovipositing mosquitoes. While our biologists and entomologists worked on the insect-related parts of the trap, our industrial engineers focused on the trap's design. The original design worked well, but was difficult to produce. Members of the CDC were crafting each trap by hand. Together with our collaborators in the US, Canada, and Puerto Rico, we have updated the design into a more refined and functional unit that can be easily mass-produced nearly anywhere in the globe. Through the magic of computer-aided design programs and 3D printers, we can now design a trap and have a full prototype in hand in a matter of hours or days instead of weeks or months. This allows us to take these out and ask the bugs how they like the traps. We can then refine over and over again until the trap works exactly how we want it to, all without the hassle of dealing with out-of-house prototyping methods. We can then take the final design out to the field to be evaluated by mosquito control professionals. Recently, we sent some of our entomologists to Puerto Rico to talk to the people who are on the front lines in the fight against Zika. They got valuable feedback from both the field technicians and private homeowners on how the traps were working and what we could do to make them even better. We'll use this information to improve the traps during phase two of our project. Here's a quick demonstration of how the trap is set up in the field. First, fill the black buckets with water. Next, attach the lid. Prepare the trap cylinder by adding a fine metal mesh insert that prevents ovipositing mosquitoes from reaching the water. Next, insert a specialized glue board. Mosquitoes which enter the trap will land on this sticky surface and be unable to escape. Finally, place the top half of the cylinder over the glue board and rotate it to lock it in place. Now, press the cylinder into the bucket lid and you're good to go. The result of this design and testing process, in the case of the NIH-funded AGO project, is an extremely easy to use trap that is optimized for mass production and effectively controls Aedes mosquitoes. We thank the NIH for giving us the opportunity to work on this exciting project, and we're looking forward to using the trap to help fight Zika, Dengue, and Chikungunya in the years to come.